In the recent update, we received a brand new Halloween crate with a couple of old skins and a bunch of new ones. In this video, I'll be showcasing every single skin and every single level and then giving my opinion on how good they are. Before I continue, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Blue Hair Mafia. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Also, if you want to talk to me, suggest videos, or maybe even be in one, consider joining the Blue Head Mafia Discord. It's a great time and I hope to see you there. Starting off, we have the Pumpkin Minigunner. At level 0, it has a pumpkin head, an orange and purple suit, a pumpkin looking minigun, and a coffin strapped around its back. At level 1, it now has an orange top hat. At level 2, its pumpkin now has lightning coming out of its eyes. At level 3, it now has some bulky shoulder pads. And at level 4, it now has a black and red color scheme and an evil smile on its hat. Its coffin has also changed colors. This skin looks amazing, and I really love the black and red color scheme. I'm going to give this max level a solid 10 out of 10. There's nothing I don't like about this skin. Next up, we have the Halloween Hunter. At level 0, it has a black hat, an orange shirt, and a regular hunting rifle. At level 1, it gets some black gloves. At level 2, it gets a fedora and some headphones. At level 3, it gets some sunglasses, a necklace, a vest, and a green gun. And at level 4, it gets a face mask, and its hunting rifle turns black. Overall, this is a pretty mediocre skin, and compared to the other Halloween skins, I'm going to rank this as a 5 out of 10. Next up, we have the Necromancer Crook Boss. At level 0, it has red skin, a coat with a ribcage pattern, a necklace with a gem, bandages on its legs, and an old school looking gun. At level 1, it gets a hood and a belt. At level 2, it gets some shoulder pads. At level 3, it has a new pose and some spiky bone wrist armor. And finally, at level 4, it gets a skull mask. While I think the skin is pretty cool, it's really ugly. I don't like the red skin and it looks kind of weird. Personally, I wouldn't find myself using it, but I do like the level of detail, so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Next up, we have the Skull Trooper Scout. At level 0, it has a hat, face mask, and ribcage design on its shirt. At level 1, it gets a pair of headphones and black and white gloves. At level 2, it gets a purple strap across its chest. At level 3, it gets a skull mask and some textured pants. And at level 4, it has two guns and a full body skeleton outfit with a purple coloring. I think this skin looks really clean and I like the skeleton theme. Also, it kind of reminds me of a certain game. Anyways, I'm going to make it as a solid 8 out of 10. Next up, we have the Graveyard Farm. At level 0, it has a cobble path and 3 tombstones. At level 1, 2 of the tombstones now have crosses on them. At level 2, the farm now has 4 pillars, a fence, and a coffin. At level 3, the coffin has been replaced by an empty pedestal and a dead tree. At level 3, there is now a dabbing statue on the pedestal. And at level 5, the graveyard is now much darker, and the statue has now been replaced by Lord Sinister, a previous event boss. I think this skin is pretty cool, and I like the reference to the old boss. Over, it's a little bit plain, so I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. Next up, we have the Pumpkin Cowboy. At level 0, it has a cowboy hat, pumpkin face, brown coat, and silver gun. At level 1, it gets some black gloves. Nothing changes for level 2. At level 3, it has a different pose and something in its hat. At level 4, it's holding two guns and has a scarf. And at level 5, the pumpkin now has neon blue lights and its guns have become more futuristic. It's a pretty nice skin. There's not much to complain about, but there's not a lot to be excited about either. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Next up, we have the Halloween Punk Shotgunner. At level 0, it has a black hat, a ragged shirt, and white wristbands on its wrist. At level 1, it gets some brown gloves with white spikes. At level 2, it has a different pose and some headphones. At level 3, it has a chain across the shoulder and some bullets on its arm. And finally, at level 4, it gets a face mask. Even though it's not too crazy, I really like the skin. The details are cool, and I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Last, but definitely not least, we have the Ghostbuster Accelerator. At level 0, it has a gray shirt with neon red stripes and a neon red Ghostbuster style fuel tank. At level 1, it gets some red goggles, but has the same fuel tank. At level 2, it gets a big bulky vest, and it now has two fuel tanks with some extra lights and antennas. At level 3, nothing changes. At level 4, it gets a neon red and gray hood, which have like cat ears on them, I don't know. And finally, at level 5, it now has a neon red ghost face mask, which looks pretty cool. I think this skin looks pretty sick. Of course, I always love red and gray color schemes. The mask is pretty cool. However, I do feel like the face is a little bit goofy, and because of that, I'm going to rank it a 7.5 out of 10. I know not a lot of people are going to agree with me on that, but the Accelerator has a bunch of other skins that outclass this by far. Anyways, that's it for this video. Make sure to comment which one of these skins is your favorite, and hit that like button and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. See ya.